Welcome back, everyone, to Football Manager as we just scored our third goal against the Doncaster Rovers. This has been a much-needed uh, game for the team because our league play has not been fantastic. Uh, so uh, I just want to show you what's happening in this game because uh, in this particular game, we have 17 shots, five on target. We have not allowed a single shot in this game. That's how dominant this has been. And it did start with a own goal in the fourth minute that we scored. We've had 70% of the possession. They have 20 fouls to our nine. That was a dominant victory. So I just want to up update you on some things that are happening for the team. Uh, we are now 18 games into the season. And with that win, finally moved back up into the promotion playoffs Though we're still just one point, although there's a game in hand for Cambridge uh, out of things. So we're right in the mix. Uh, but the reason that we're not doing better has a lot to do with our league play as of late. And I want to just show you um, the non-league play, the, the other competitions, we've actually been doing some really good things. But uh, since last we met, dominant... Uh, Five, I don't remember exactly what the, where we left off, but we had a dominant 5-0 victory over Grimsby, followed by a 1-0 victory over Walsall. But then we lose 2-1 to Tranmere, 1-0 uh, to Barrow. And that one in particular was frustrating because we were getting shots. We had a bunch of shots and couldn't score. Uh, and then gave up a penalty late in that one. Uh, and then we come back and beat Crawley 3-0 in the first round of the FA Cup. And then West Brom under-21s, 3-0 in the Papa John's Trophy. Both of those were with rotated squads, playing mostly backups to give a rest to some of my players. Uh, and then Sutton, we had like 20 shots. Couldn't get a goal. Ended up 0-0 in that one. Uh, but by beating the West Brom under-21s uh, by three in that uh, victory, uh, that actually catapulted us into... A three-way tie for second place in our group of four in the Papa John's Trophy. But it gave us the goal differential, which allowed us to advance to the second round of the Papa John's Trophy, where we're going to be playing Fleetwood, who are a League One team. Actually, they're in fifth place in League One, so that's going to be tough. Uh, in the English FA Cup in the second round, uh, we're going to be playing a Vanarama National League team, Newport County, who's doing quite well this year in the National League. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. Uh, we have picked up a few new players, and we've managed to clear some space. Uh, financially speaking right now, we're only spending $9.7 million on payroll. We've got a little over $3 million available in our payroll at the moment, as well as some money in the transfer budget, and we're scouting uh, pretty well. So I do have some offers out to some players, and I did just pick up uh, Archie Collins, who is a 24-year-old midfielder uh, who is a pretty solid player. Uh, and we got him for only 112000 per year. Uh, and we've got him for the next two and a half years. So that was a great, really team-friendly contract that we picked up for that. And uh, so he has made one appearance for us so far. Played for Exeter before that. Uh, but has been doing pretty well so far uh, for us, at least in that first game. And highly rated player. I think you'll do some good things. All right, here's one of the guys I made an offer to. Uh, you know, I've already got Romaine Sawyers, who is a cast off from West Bromwich Albion, a championship club, who, of course, are my favorite team. I'm even wearing them today here. Now we're picking up the former West Brom captain, Jake Livermore, who uh, in real life is uh, no longer with West Brom. He finished up this past season, didn't play much down the stretch. Uh, just better players out there in midfield for West Brom. Uh, so he's going to be making the drop from formerly having been a Premier League player with West Brom all the way down now to League Two. 34 years old. Uh, we're going to pick him up on a pretty decent contract for a former Premier League player, 421000 Hopefully he's still got something left in the tank and he can offer us something as a ball-winning midfielder. In the meantime, we've got a big match coming up against Port Vale, 12th place team. These are the kinds of games we need to be winning. And then 16th place Mansfield Town after that before we go into the Papa John's Trophy again. All right, let's see what happens in the kind of game we need to be winning. 
We got most of our starters playing in this one. A little bit of rotation to the squad, but not a lot. Paul Mullen, Charlie Wick back up front. Hopefully he can avoid getting another red card like the one that he got in our last episode. Lancaster's going to put it way pa past the goal. Not in a good place. Not a great kick at all. But we're sitting fourth right now. If we could pick up three points today, that would be really important toward getting automatic promotion. Mullen is wide open down the line. If he can cut it inside here. Nope. He's going to drop it. To Lancaster, who's going to go back to Gosling. There's Maddie Longstaff, who we picked up recently. All right, there we go, Lancaster. Put that in. Oh, my gosh. Lancaster's our leading scorer, and he just whiffed on that one. Uh, look at our goal differential. It's 14. So when we win, we win big, but then we lose a lot of close matches or we have a lot of draws that we shouldn't have. Looks like we already have some tired players in there. All right, Mullen's going to do the corner into Archie Collins for... He's going to open his account with VTHFC. First goal of the season. First goal of his career with the team. Beautiful. Mullen puts it right in there. And Collins is going to head it in before anybody even knows what's happening. That puts us into second place. Now, granted, some of these other teams have a couple of games in hand, but oh, Charlie Wick's injured. Uh, we're having a rough time with him. We're going to get Oakley Cannoneer, the uh, young player, in there some time up front. See what the young kid can do. I think he's young. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's 19. Get the 19-year-old some playing time. See what he can do. Another dominant performance for us, though. 11 shots, 5 on target. We should have at least 2 goals. Haven't allowed a single shot on target for them. Not sure what was happening there, but that's okay. All right, we're moving. There's Marsal. He's going to drop it to Sterling. So looking for somewhere to punch it through. There's Cannoneer with a long ball to Lancaster. Into Longstaff. Oh, that was all set up by the kid, Cannoneer, who has an amazing name for a striker, by the way. Right there, watch this long switch of play over to Lancaster, who then finds Longstaff coming right down the middle. That was lovely. Is that Longstaff's first goal for us, too? I think it might be. All right, let's get some uh, fresh legs in the defense. And I think we're going to drop into a kind of a defensive posture now. Just kind of park the bus a little bit the rest of the way. We've got a nice victory coming. These are the kinds of games we need to win. This is the kind of performance we need to have in games like this, where we're not only dominating, but we're also scoring the goals. Odessina is just going to kind of chill with it himself. All right, we're going to make another run here. Probably could have dropped it to the midfielder there instead of going all the way back to Dinze. Oh, there's Lancaster. Oh, that was lovely. That was beautiful. We're clicking. We're starting to click. I like it. Hoping for a good second half to the season. Lancaster's got a 9.5 rating in this game. Two assists. Distributing the ball well. Love it. Love to see it. All right, let's just keep the clean sheet. Let's not give up any silly goals here. Lovely. All right, get the ball moving. There you go. Oh, and Cannoneer coming down the middle with nobody there. There's his first goal of the season. Everybody opening their accounts today. That was really nice ball movement right there. I like that counterattack. 
Cannoneer finds Marsal up front, and then he finds Cannoneer all by his lonesome right up the middle. What's his speed like? Let's see his pace. Acceleration 15, pace 14. Yeah, he's a quick player. We might have to get Oakley Cannoneer some more playing time. Okay, so Charlie Wick's out for the next four to five weeks with a groin strain. I've had that when I was in college or ran cross country. It's not a pretty injury to have. It's very painful. Um, so we're probably going to be getting the opportunity to see a little more of Ollie Can of uh, Cannoneer moving forward here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Oakley Cannoneer. That's his name. Uh, potential ability of four stars. Uh, he's two and a half right now, but man, he's got some really nice things in his favor. We've just got to play to his strengths a little bit, which I think we can do. Came from Liverpool before that, only 19 years old. Uh, so let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. So look at that. We have not given up a goal in the, our last five matches. 3-0, uh, 3-0, 0-0, 3-0, 4-0. Beautiful. So I think we're on the right track. Uh, Mansfield's up next, another game we should win. Uh, and then we have Papa John's Trophy and the FA Cup. Those are two that we'll definitely watch. And uh, that'll probably take us through on this episode. Okay, so the streak of clean sheets stays alive. Our XG for that one was only .9, but we got three goals. Uh, Marsal had a brace, and then Odesina had one late in the game. Cannoneer did have an assist. Mullen had an assist. Uh, so our two strikers were assisting one of our wingers on that one. Uh, so it all worked out really well. Uh, we are now ready for two big matches uh, of the knockout variety. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now you can see the two teams ahead of us do still have games in hand. But we are putting a little space there with our run now. Uh, Notts County won 6-1 to one against Colchester. That's crazy. And I believe that... Um, I read that Doncaster has like a 20 away game unbeaten streak going right now, which is crazy. But we're about to take on Fleetwood Town. We're going to see what happens. Okay, so Fleetwood Town is fighting for a possibility of promotion from League One to the championship. Uh, so they are a league ahead of us. Both our board and our supporters expect us to be defeated. So that means if we do anything other than lose, we will be impressing them. Elliot Lee's been unhappy lately. Uh, I've already tried to talk to him. It hasn't worked so far. Um, he's going to run out his contract, and we're going to let him go anyway. He's just he's really not getting much playing time. Uh, he's got one one game in the Papa John's Trophy where he played really well and one game in League 2 where not so well. Uh, we just really don't have a spot for him right now, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see what happens against Fleetwood Town. Can we make some magic happen in a match that we are not expected to be able to win. So um, I think we're going to stick with this lineup. I think that's going to work pretty well for us. Uh, you can see everybody's performing quite well lately. I don't see any reason to change that. I might have done some rotation since it's a, a trophy match and not a league match, but you know what? I want to stick with these guys. I want to start building some real cohesion with this team. So let's see what happens. Ninety percent of the possession through eight minutes. That's kind of interesting and unexpected. I did read in the scouting report for these guys that they have trouble with marking players, which might give us some opening if we if we can make some good passing runs happen. Uh, if they don't easily mark players maybe we can get some guys open that that was an opportunity there Lancaster just wasn't able to get the header in there but still 86 percent possession 13 minutes in so far so good we got to get a goal though all right Collins is going to be the the one to bring in this corner all right Marcel's going to get there first man he's been all over the pitch for us he's a he's a lone player we're just putting the ball over the net too much right now but man I was not expecting to have nearly 80% of the possession in this game but that's where we're at right now alright there's Cannoneer Collins to Romain Sawyers Cannoneer to Mullen oh wow oh 
We've had some chances. Two shots on target now. Those are the kinds of chances we absolutely have to have in a game that we're not expected to win. Just have to. We're gonna. It looks like we're gonna go into halftime. Uh, they're finally getting some momentum there. Most of the momentum was was with with ah, was with us so far. Really even match. We've just got to make some magic happen here. Um, let's get Jake Livermore in there. And put him in for Odessina. And have him play as uh, defending. Ah, oh, it's not available when we have a two-player pairing. Okay. We'll put him in as a stopper. Still 75% of the possession. We just can't get the ball in the net. All right. Who else can we get in here for some fresh legs? Matty Longstaff for Romaine Sawyers. Let's do that. We're getting some tired players out there. Come on, guys. We're not even supposed to be in this game. Just give me a goal. Ah, we're down on their end. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. There it is. <sighs> Not for lack of chances, man. We, we've had chances in this game. All right, now we're down on our end. Let's see if we can get one back. Long staff. Over to Lancaster. Oh, it's a little too long, but he's going to keep it in. Over to Gosling. That's a penalty. Who's taking it, Mullen? It's Mullen. Come on, Paul. Yes! Tied it up, baby. All right, we're going to go back to a balanced approach now. Let's get Macklemont in there for... Oh, we're out of subs. Oh, okay. Got a lot of tired players out there because I didn't go with a rotated squad, and I probably should have. I went with the same squad from the last match. Really wanted to try and get this win. We might be going to penalties. What I don't want to have happen is have this go to extra time. All right, we're down on their end. All right, there we go. Now let's make a run. Going to start from the back with Bishop. A lot of our good play this season has come from Marsal playing it there in the middle. They're on the left side. I was looking at Mullen, so I said middle. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Get the ball back. We've got a lot of tired legs out there right now. Okay. Five minutes of added time. Still some time to get this thing, get this victory. Jake Livermore over to Collins to Gosling. We're going to start looking for our run. There's Mullen. Back to Collins. There's Marsal again. Over to Sterling. Still trying to find a spot. Oh, gave it away too easily. Ah, what was that? He had to have been offside. Oh, look at Dehaney. Oh, my gosh. What a tackle. Woo! <laughs> that was some first-class defense right there. Saved the game. All right, get it back. There you go, Sterling. Now, don't give it away easily this time, which is exactly what we did. Ah, Bishop, nice. Why are we still on attacking? I thought I dropped it to balanced. All right, to PKs we go. <laughs> Relax, pick your spot, don't change your mind. Here we go. This is crazy. How many penalty kick situations have we already had?
Oh my gosh, Paul Mullen just got stopped. We're already down. I'm not feeling optimistic at the moment. There you go, Lancaster. We got to get a stop, though. Come on, Bishop. Get us back in this thing. There it is! He went right down the middle and he was there. Oh, long staff, Matty Long staff. Can he keep us going? We're back in it, baby. We're back in it. Come on, Bishop, get another stop. Bishop has been clutch in these penalty kick situations. He really has. Oh, he picked the right side. He just couldn't get on it. All right, we've got to keep going. It's Gosling this time. Wasn't much on that, but it worked. All right, Bishop. Get a stop and let's win this thing. Get a stop and then we can score. Pick the right side again, but... Couldn't get the stop. All right, we have to make this one. Who's up next? It's do or die now. It's Collins. Score or go home. We stay alive. On to number six. These are nerve-wracking even at a young age. I coached my son who's in high school playing soccer now. Oh, he was he played goalkeeper until he was about 12. And uh, our tournament went to, to penalties. The first year he was a full-time goalkeeper. Oh, it was so intense as a dad and a coach. We went to like seven penalty kicks in that one. Ended up losing. All right. We're staying alive. We just got to get a stop. Come on, Bishop. He kicked it right down the middle, and you just walked past it. Uh, we don't deserve to win after that. What was that, Bishop? Come on. Uh, I can't take this. All right, Marcel. You owe us because you made some bad passes in this game. All right. We just need to get a stop. We scored a bunch. We've only had one stop on either side. Uh, one stop on each side so far. The pressure continues. We have to keep making them. I'm not feeling real optimistic right now. It's 7 6. <laughs> Oakley Cannoneer, the kid. Is he up to it? Can the 19 year old. Overcome the pressure. He can. 7-7. Seven, seven. My goodness, this is crazy. We're on the ninth round of penalty kicks. Bishop has looked awkward in this. He had that one good stop to keep us alive, but... We're, we're starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel as far as shooters go here. Keeper picked the right side, but DeHaney still put it in. Come on. Round 10 of penalty kicks. He got his hands on that one, didn't he? Still went in. Ah, Jake Livermore. Now I'm really not feeling optimistic. Come on, Jake. That's it. Our run comes to an end. Hard fought. Good game. We had six shots on goal, but couldn't get more than one goal out of it. All right. Let's hope our FA Cup run go goes a little better. But, hey, listen. Um, we weren't supposed to win that game. So the fact that we took it to penalties, I guess, is still... Uh, Jake Livermore said he would step up and take a penalty in a shootout again despite his crucial miss 
And VTH FC's 8-9 Papa John's Trophy Northern Section second round penalty loss against Fleetwood. Uh, okay, so we're out of that, but we did about as well as was expected. Okay, here we go. FA Cup second round, Newport County. This is a National League team. We probably need to be considered the favorites in this one. So let's hope we're up to the task. Going with a few changes, but for the most part, a similar lineup. Not a lot happening so far. Pretty quiet first half. Real quiet first half. We haven't had any highlights at all. Marcel's got a yellow card, so we've got to be careful with him. Collins has one now. We make it all the way to halftime with very little happening. All right, let's take a look at the lineup here. We might want to start thinking about some, some changes. I definitely don't want to get a red card in the FA Cup. That would be a problem. So we'll, we'll think about putting Romaine Sawyers in there. Uh, not sure what that noise was on my computer. Um, yeah, I think that's all we'll do for now. Okay, possession's dead even. This game has been very, very even. There we go. There we go. Forcing. Back to Mullen. Send it. Send it. Beautiful. There's Cannoneer using that speed. He puts it home. The kid from Liverpool. The only thing is, man, you don't want to get too attached to lone players, right? Because then you know you're going to lose them when they go back to their parent club. This kid's got a bright future ahead of him, and I hate to to see him do these great things only to have to send him back to Liverpool when it's all said and done. All right. We're going to get Dehaney in there. 20 minutes to go. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Come on, get on him, defense. There you go, Dinze. I don't like this. I don't like this. Woo! Come on, guys. There you go, Bishop. No, no extra time, no penalty kicks, no nothing. Let's win this in regulation. Oh, look at that. Forson got out in front. He's into Mullen, who makes a terrible decision. Should have passed that. Okay, 13 minutes to go. Going to sub Gibson out for Jake Livermore. Newport County make a bunch of substitutions. We're into extra time. Come on, baby. On to the third round of the FA Cup. Let's see who we're going to be up against there. We'll go ahead and advance to the draw, and then I think we'll wrap this one up. All right, so UCD have made, who's UCD? University College Dublin in the Irish Premier Division. They want Connor O'Reilly, who is an Irish player. He's 22 years old. Uh, not a lot of potential there. It doesn't seem like he's going to be doing much for us. So I think we'll go ahead and accept that offer. Let him go home to Ireland. Let our assistant handle that. I just want to get to the draw and see who we're going to be playing in the third round of the FA Cup. We're almost halfway through the season now, 20 games in, 26 to go. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting cuz now Premier Leagues are going to uh, Premier League teams are going to enter the FA Cup in the third round. So there's 69 teams for 32 matches to be drawn. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the draw and really keep our fingers crossed we don't end up playing against one of the top tier teams. Sunderland, 
There's Plymouth, Reading, and Luton. There's Fulham. That's a Premier League team against Burnley, who uh, I think just got promoted. Harrogate. And then the winner of Swansea and Portsmouth. Exeter and Lincoln winner against Brighton. There's another Premier League team. Man United. Fleetwood got Man United. Good for them. Salford, who knocked us out of the Carabao Cup against Mansfield. Here's Liverpool. Oh, boy. Because then we wouldn't even be able to play our lone player from Liverpool. All right, they got Millwall. Derby up against Crystal Palace. That's another Premier League team. Gillingham, MK Dons. Here's West Ham, another Premier League team against Bristol City. So we're avoiding some of them so far. Leicester, who just got relegated in real life, playing Arsenal, another Premier League team. All right, here we go. Who do we get? Middlesbrough. Okay, that's a uh, championship team, right? Yep. Mid-level championship team. All right. We could pull an upset there. That could happen. All right. We're going to go ahead and... and go to the end of this thing and we'll see what happens in the next episode let me know your thoughts use the comment section below and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching